Mr. Speaker, sir, <coughs> thank you very much for this opportunity. This is a statement concerning the disbursement of funds to county governments in the present circumstance where there has been a delay in the enactment of county allocation of revenue bill 2024. Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise pursuant to Standing Order 56-1A of the Standing Orders of the Senate to make a statement on the disbursement of funds to county governments in the present circumstance where there has been delay in the enactment of county allocation of revenue bill 2024. Mr. Speaker, sir, the Division of Revenue Act DORA number no. 7 of 2024 was assented to on, the on 10th of June 2024 and came into effect on 25th of June 2024. The act divides nationally raised revenue between the two levels of government. The county allocation of revenue bill, Senate bill, bills number 25 of 2024, was passed by parliament on the 25th of June 2025 and transmitted to the president for assent in accordance with article 1151B of the constitution, the president referred the bill back to parliament with reservation. Parliament is yet uh, to uh, consider the president's reservation and therefore the county allocation of revenue bill has not been enacted yet. Mr. Speaker, sir, the county allocation of revenue bill divides among the counties the revenue allocated to the county level of government on the basis determined in accordance with the resolutions in force under Article 217 of the Constitution. Therefore, the law contemplates that the allocation of nationally raised revenue is effected through the two-step process, vertical sharing of revenue between the two levels of government through Division of Revenue Act and horizontal uh, division of revenue between the 47 counties through the County Allocation of Revenue Act. With respect to the finance, financial year 2024-2025, the first is complete as there is Division of Revenue Act in force. However, the second step is in abeyance as the county allocation of revenue bill has not been enacted into law. Mr. Speaker, sir, as a result of this, the National Treasury has not made any transfers to counties of their share of nationally raised revenue. The delay in disbursement of county share of nationally raised revenue has paralyzed county governments, impeded their ability to discharge their, functional, uh, uh, their functions and is likely to lead to devastating consequences in crucial areas such as service delivery in the health sector and other sectors. Mr. Speaker, sir, following a request by the Standing Committee on Finance and Budget on possible remedies to fund the counties while waiting passage of the County Allocation of Revenue Bill, the National Treasury and Economic Planning, through a letter dated 5th of August 2024, indicated that there are possible remedies for counties to uh, as, as access a certain percentage of equitable share pending the passage of county allocation of revenue bill 2024. The National T Treasury indicated that there exists a court opinion in an advisory opinion number three of 2019 and the provisions of regulation 134.1, which allow the control of budget to authorize withdrawals of up to 50% from the consolidated fund based on last county allocation of revenue act approved by parliament for purpose of meeting the expenditure of the county government for financial year, uh, for the current financial year. Mr. Speaker, sir, further, during the meeting held on 16th of September 2024, with the National Treasury, uh, the, with the National Treasury Economic Planning, the cabinet secretary indicated that the National Treasury was ready to avail some funds to counties in order to facilitate them uh, meet non-discretionary monthly expenditures such as salaries. However, the National Treasury had requested for an advisory opinion from the Office of the Attorney General. Mr. Speaker, sir, Regulation 134 of the Public Finance Management National Government Regulations 2015 provides that if the county allocation of revenue bill submitted to Parliament for a financial year has not been approved by Parliament or is not likely to be approved by Parliament by the beginning of the financial year, the control of budget may authorize withdrawals of up to 50% with, uh, from the consolidated fund based on the last county allocation of revenue act 
approved by Parliament for purpose of meeting the expenditure of the county government for the financial year. Further, in a Supreme Court Advisory Opinion Number 3 of 2019, the court had occasion to consider the, the question of allocating revenue to the county governments where enactment of DORA has been delayed and made the following findings. That should an impasse occur due to the failure of mediation process occasioned by the lack of concurrence between the two houses over the division of revenue bill and national assem uh, the National Assembly for the purpose for the purpose of meeting the expenditure necessary to carry out the services of county government during that year until such a time Division of Revenue Act is assented to can authorize the withdrawal of money from consolidated fund. The money so withdrawn shall be included under separate votes for the several services uh, in respect of which they are withdrawn. It is to be expected that each county assembly would have to readjust their respective budget and appropriation bills accordingly. And B, the percentage of money to be withdrawn be based on equitable allocation to counties in the Division of Revenue Act of the preceding financial year. In keeping with the spirit of Article 2222B of the Constitution, the money to be withdrawn shall be 50% of the total liquidable share allocated to counties in the Division of Revenue Act. Mr. Speaker, sir, the opinion of the court as set uh, out as uh, shared was premised on the fact that Article 2221 of the Constitution provides an avenue for the continuation of national government business where Appropriation Act has not been assented to. The Constitution could not countenance that there would be any remedy for county government to assess a percentage of national raised revenue to avoid paralysis in service delivery at the counties. Therefore, Mr. Speaker, while the advisory opinion number three of 2019 dealt with the question of transfers to counties in the event of a delay in enactment of Division of Revenue Bill, the conclusion arrived at by the court supports provision of regula Regulation 134.1 that the counties must access a percentage of nationally raised revenue uh, in, in the event of delay in passage of any one of the legal requirements to facilitate that. Mr. Speaker, sir, the committee is privy to, advise, uh, to, to an advisory that has been rendered by the Attorney General to the Cabinet Secretary for National Treasury and Economic Planning, dated 20th of September, 2024, in which the Attorney General canvasses the provisions of Regulation 134.1 of the Public Finance Management National Government Regulation 2015, and advisory opinion number three of 2019 and advises the National Treasury as follows, that the applicable law that would allow the disbursement of equitable share to the counties is Regulation 134.1 of the Public Finance Management National Government Regulation 2015. Both Regulations 134.1 and Supreme Court Advisory Opinion Number 3 of 2019 provides the same remedy for disbursement of up to 50% of the total equitable share to county governments in the absence of county allocation of revenue act. Mr. Speaker, sir, in the light of these provisions of the law canvassed in this statement, the Committee of, uh, on Finance and Budget has written to the National Treasury and the Control of Budgets to direct, as a matter of utmost urgency, the authorization and withdrawal of up to 50% from the consolidated fund based on the last County Allocation of Revenue Act approved by Parliament for the purpose of meeting expenditure for the county government for the financial year. I thank you, signed Senator Ali Ibrahim Robert, Chairperson of the Standing Committee on Finance and Budget, and the party leader of UDM. Thank you very much. I'll give uh, one or two senators.